genetic pathways that respond to adversity. They've, they're in all life. They're in the trees. They're in the food we eat. Um, they're in our pets. And they res- they've evolved, uh, I propose in the book, that uh, it's a survival circuit that is very important to keep us healthy when we're young, but it actually comes back to bite us when we're older, when we're not needed. And what they serve to do is to keep the body alive when times are tough. The bacteria have survival circuits. They have sirtuins, the genes we work on in my lab, um, jellyfish, yeast. Uh, yeah, we, it's, it's everywhere. These sirtuin genes and, and mTOR, which is one of the other survival circuit components, AMP kinase, these are some of the oldest genes uh, on the planet. And they sense the world around us. They sense how much meat we're eating. They're sensing the temperature. They're sensing blood glucose, so energy. They're sensing exercise. And they respond. When your body is threatened, they will fight back. And if you sit around and you eat a lot of food, they'll get lazy. They'll work instead on other things that are not helping longevity. So when we're hungry, that's a threat. When we're running, that's a perceived threat. If we're eating food that's stressed, the plants that we eat, if they're stressed, we get a signal, we believe. Um, if you're really cold or really hot, um, and if you go from hot to really cold suddenly, these are all shocks to the body that turn on these pathways that keep us healthier for longer. And now we really understand why dieting and exercise are good for, for us. It's the turning on these survival systems. Now, the word for this is called, it's, it's hormesis. Hormesis is essentially anything that doesn't kill you will make you stronger and longer lived. And that's what, what I do with my life. I, I try to put myself in a state of hormesis, cycling through these uh, perceived adversities that don't really hurt my body, but they put my body in a state of high alert. So the stress that I'm talking about is cellular stress, um, meaning the cells might be pushed uh, on temperature or on nutrient, um, not enough nutrients, uh, but that's not the same as psychological stress. The, unfortunately, it's the same word, but they're completely different things. A little bit of stress, I find, um, as long as it's not c- crippling and leading to physical decline, I think is helpful. I, I find myself doing a lot of things that I regard as uh, stressful, a lot of adrenaline, um, but not chronic stress. You've got to be able to um, calm down. And a lot of people use Uh, sleep and meditation and yoga to be able to mitigate those negative effects.